Would you say AI, we had someone earlier this week use the F word, frenzy, uh, in terms of AI, that the valuations are out of control? You could say frenzy, you could say hype. It certainly captured investors' imagination, just like blockchain did about two years ago. Anything with a mere mention of AI is sending stocks into the stratosphere. So for that reason, we have to wonder, is this overdone? You know, is this actually playing the those stocks that are going to actually make money out of AI? But all we can say is it's transformational and investors are excited. But because of that, it's really hard to lose in mega cap tech right now. And it has been for some time. We've been expecting the market to show more breath, to go back to small caps, to include more defensives in that rally. But actually, it's been disappointing. Whenever that does happen, it's a very short lived rally. So what we think now is investors can't lose. It's the classic adage of can't lose by buying IBM. They're buying not IBM now, but the equivalent. And for that reason, it said to me, it's like a safety trade. The lack of breath in markets shows that markets are still fragile. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a safety trade, but it's illusory. Yes, I mean, the element of safety with tech is never guaranteed. It's not paying at high dividends. It's very levered to growth. As we can see, there's a lot of hype in there. And when things do turn and confidence turns, and we saw that for the likes of Meta, for example, earlier in the year, it can turn quite dramatically and inject, and inject quite a lot of volatility into the portfolio. So it's not completely illusory. These are strong business models. They've got a dominant market position, large moats around them, and that will shore them up. So I think it's probably less illusory now than it would have been maybe a decade ago. Yeah, because it's just that, I've been asking that question. The five or six mega cap tech stocks that are responsible for so, uh, so you know, the lion's share of all these gains in the NASDAQ and, e and even the S&P, I always ask, is the rest of the market going to rise to those levels or do these six standouts join the rest lower? And to call it a safety trade, it, that's kind of contrarian to what most people think. They think these guys are out over their, these uh, names are out over their skis. To call it a safety trade. Sounds like you're, you're not saying that. You're saying you can still, you can still park money in these because Kelly wants to go into T bills. That's her safety oh, I'm trade. I'm in. I'm in. She's totally in in T bills. She leaves her light on at <laughs> night. That, but go yeah. ahead. That's a traditional safety trade, the T bills on fixed income, and that is also. I'd say both are are being played right now. What I'd say is that mega top, mega cap tech is being perceived as a safety trade in equities if you're going to be in equities. As exactly. to what's likely to happen, I see that the rest of the market will start to, to short, be shored up as the, so some of the froth comes out of tech. I don't mm -hmm. think tech is gonna crash and burn. There's a lot of money on the sidelines that has not yet found its home in equities. It's currently in money market funds. It would have been nice to know uh, on, when we began the tightening of 500 basis points because the, uh, the narrative was that that's gonna hurt multiples in tech. And as it turned out, uh, you know, that they've been these, at least those names have been standouts, even in a rising interest rate environment. Well, that relationship has been blown apart. The relationship between re interest rates and value stocks was supposed to have a certain, go a certain way, as was the relationship between um, tech growth stocks that rely on that discounted cash flow and the, the discount rate used. That was supposed to go a certain way. It didn't. It's behaving in a very, I'd say, abnormal way. But then we saw that last year with the correlations between bonds and equities being so positive when they're supposed to act as a hedge.